she suggested that uh, we try role play. Now, as I said, uh, I'm doing a degree in theatre studies, I couldn't resist, although subsequently it's come to my attention I may have taken it a bit too seriously. I said, okay, yeah, come up with a situation. She went, all right, all right. I'm a librarian. She knew I like books as well. I'm a librarian. <laughs> and you're bringing a book back. <laughs> but the book is late. <laughs> but you don't have the money to pay the fine, so we have to work out some sort of alternative method of payment, if you get what I mean. A, 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 said no. <laughs> no. I don't understand. Why wouldn't I have the money to pay the fine? That makes no sense dramatically whatsoever. You know, I'd have seen that the book was late, I'd have brought it back with the, with the correct change. It makes no sense. She said, it doesn't matter. I said, alright, what book am I reading? She said, what does it matter what book you're reading? I said, it makes a world of fucking difference what book I'm reading. There's a whole world of difference. If I walk in there reading Pride and Prejudice, I'm Mr. Darcy, I'm romantic, I'm dangerous. If I'm going in there reading The Hungry Caterpillar, I'm most probably on the sex offenders register. <laughs> She said, just pick a book off your shelf. So I did. I took a book off my shelf and I went outside. I was looking at the book, ladies and gentlemen. It was American Psycho by Brett Easton Ellis. <laughs> I don't know if anyone's read American Psycho by Brett Easton Ellis or, or seen the film with the lunatic Christian Bale. But it's pretty fucking violent. And I walked back in the room after contemplating for a while. She was dressed as a librarian, frumpy skirt, cardigan. She hadn't changed. <laughs> I walked over to her, I put the book on the desk, and, and she said, did you enjoy the book? I said, yes, I especially enjoyed the bit where the man bit the woman's clitoris off. <laughs> <laughs> that was the point, ladies and gentlemen, which it's probably safe to say, she snapped. Why, James? Why? Every time! I try to do something to salvage this shit heap of a relationship. Every time I try to do something to drag us out of the quagmire that you constantly put us in, you have to fuck it up. You have to be Mr. Clever, don't you? Mr. Aurelius and there at Warwick University. Well, guess what? I don't give a fuck about that. I wish I'd never have met you. You have made three years of my life in misery, and I wish you were never. I wish your 